I have an Xbox Series S and recently got water damage and I was able to salvage it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of the repair and how you too can also repair your water damage console. Now as a disclaimer, this tutorial or repair guide only applies to water damage consoles. Now if your console was liquid damage and juice spilled on it or liquor or something else, this video does not apply. This is only for water damage. And also, this video does not apply to PS5. If you have a Xbox One X, Series X, or Series S, or a PlayStation 4, or maybe even an Xbox 360 or PS3, you can use this video as a guide to repair your console. Now, the first thing you need to do is disassemble your console. And depending on the amount of water that got into your console, you might need to disassemble it all the way down to the motherboard where you can see the CPU. So that means you're going to have to remove the heatsink from your console. Now, depending on your console, you might need to watch a teardown guide and there's plenty on YouTube. Just watch a teardown guide of how you can take your console apart. Once you take the console apart, you will let the console sit and dry. Naturally, you don't want to use any cloth on the console to dry it off. Just let it dry by itself naturally. Once the console is dry, the most important part is your CPU or your APU and your power supply. You need to make sure that power supply is dry properly more than the CPU. So if your power supply still has water in it and then you put the console back together, it will short out and your console will be dead at that point. Now, after ensuring that your power supply is fully dry, that's if water got into the power supply. The next thing you need to do is start cleaning your CPU. So you're gonna have to remove the thermal paste from the motherboard around the CPU, cleaned off with some isopropyl alcohol, and then you can also clean off the thermal paste that was on the heatsink. Now you're going to need a fresh coat of thermal paste to put on the CPU and your heatsink. Once you've applied the thermal paste to your CPU, you can start reassembling your console, start putting it back together. And as I said, there are guides on how to do this on YouTube. You can watch some videos on how to take your console apart and how to put it back together. Now you need to make sure you add enough thermal paste to the CPU. Don't overdo it, but make sure you have enough on the CPU and on the heatsink. This will prevent the console from overheating and like shorting when you turn it back on. Now, like I said before, the power supply is a very important part in this. You need to make sure that is dry properly. Probably give it a day or maybe three days for the power supply to, to dry if your console was like submerged in water and water got into the power supply. I say three days, 72 hours is enough time and then you can start putting it back together. It's best to wait a long period of time to make sure everything is dry than to rush than to rush the process and then you end up damaging your console forever. Once you um, start reassembling your console, then you can you know test it and power it on and it should work because water in itself does no harm to electronics. It's only when power is applied. So if your console wasn't plugged in when it got water damaged, then you should be fine. You just need to let it dry out, reapply that thermal paste, and also make sure that your power supply is dry. Now I'll be leaving a few videos in the description that you can use to follow a teardown guide for the Xbox Series S because that is a console that I have and that's the one that got liquid damage and I was able to restore it and it's working um, just fine for right now. So I recommend you guys just give that, give these videos a watch and maybe you too can repair your own console. And the thing is, you might not need to take it to like a technician to do this and it's best to, you know, get practice on your own so, so that maybe in the future you can do this for a friend or family member who probably spilled some water on your console. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know how this process worked out for you and also let me know where you're able to restore your console and yeah. 
that's pretty much gonna do it for the video guys if you like tech please consider subscribing to the channel and share the video with a friend who also likes tech now until then i'll catch you in the next one peace